Hey what's up guys, it's Bruins here and welcome back to another video. And today we are playing some more Evil Dead the game. As you probably got it by now, I'm playing mainly with the demon. And today we're playing with a demon that I haven't really played much, which is the Puppeteer. And one of the reasons I haven't played much with the Puppeteer is because I really don't have much time to play. As I've got small kids at home, a really busy job, I only play when I can. But I have to say the Puppeteer is really growing on me, I'm not even fully leveled up. I'm just getting to grips with his play style. Everyone knows he is weak when it comes to Infernal Energy, but recently he got an indirect buff, as it is the only demon that can have points in possession within the first level up. I feel that makes the Puppeteer much more unique and a demon of its own, whilst before all the demons felt like they were quite similar in terms of leveling up, and everybody did the same thing, putting points first into possession and the basic units. What I also love about the Puppeteer is the range it has with some of its attacks. Whilst it becomes vulnerable during the attack, it can actually travel a great distance just to hit someone, which makes it a much more strategic demon to play with, rather than a race to button mash before you stun and ganged up on. I really like it. In this video we were faced against a decent team, Sash didn't really know what he was doing and some other survivors made mistakes, definitely not the best team I came across, but this was actually my third match with the Puppeteer and my first win. The ending was particularly good when one of the survivors decided to do what most teams do these days to try and get an advantage of the demon, and I think I handled that quite well. Also, most of my videos I play without Mike, so what we're going to be doing today is analyzing the gameplay of myself and the survivors. But I hope you enjoyed the video anyway, hit that like button if you do and subscribe for more and I will see you all in a second. So as you can see here we're trying to take down Sash and that's the first mistake he does. There's a car right there and he just walks past him. If you're a survivor, the first thing you want to do when a demon is on you is get in the car. Because once you're in the car, the demon cannot get to you. And there you go, we already started draining the resources of this sash, but mainly because he really mismanaged that. So here they found another piece of the map and then we're just gonna try and take these guys on. And I think there's another one. yeah, there's another one there with him. And there again, there's a car right there. He could have just jumped into the car and saved himself the trouble. Instead, we're draining his resources. He's going to drink his second champs, which he could have been saving there. Alright, so the, here are their own points, and actually all four of the survivors are here. So they got a Kelly, an Arthur, Henry, and a Sash. And the Sash is gonna pay for it now, because he he's really doesn't know what he's doing, this Sash. And they, down he goes. Oh, so now we possess Henry and <laughs> then we gave Arthur a bit of a beating here. Which was really good actually. And he almost went down. I think I forgot that there I had a ranged weapon with Henry. I mean, I'm not the best player by any means. Oh, well, they're all taking a beating. Arthur doesn't really know what he's doing, I think. Henry seemed like a decent player here. He seemed to be able to hold his own a bit more. Yeah, we're trying to put pressure on Arthur here. If I could only coordinate my attacks. Oh, 
And he took a champs there. I have to say, I find it quite useless, that whole explosion once the unit dies. Uh, time for some upgrading and here's the bonus. Yeah, this is what I really love about the Puppeteer. Just go invisible, wait for it, and attack. Get out of the way, and look how much he travels just to hit one of the survivors. And that's all good, that's all good. We're playing the long game here, because you guys know the demon is not powerful anymore at the early game. So you, you do have to play the long game now, and I'm, I'm all up for that. Oh, they're having a barbecue together. Let's disrupt that. Oh, here's another good opportunity for a possession. Unfortunately, I got into the tree and not Henry. That was so annoying. And as you see, Sash obviously is back from the dead because they did the previous point. Alright, one minute for the boss. And I got into this damn tree again. I don't know why. Uh, here's Sash going down again. Can't remember. Oh no, he took a Shemps. Another Shemps. Is this third cola he drinks? Uh, here we go. go so that's the tactic with the puppeteer attack move around they can't see you attack they stagger a little I got a little hit there I wasn't really focusing on anyone in particular there I was kind of just seeing who is doing a good job who's doing a bad job and again as you can see Arthur and Sash doing a bad job No, oh, he, he evaded just in the last moment there. Oh, the Kelly I'm completely ignoring because there's not even much point going for the Kelly. She's just so OP with all her dodges and everything. Oh, so the Arthur is really, really weak now, but he just took another Cola. And he's already going down again. God, look at them. Instead of going straight for the... Oh, there's a glitch there. Instead of going straight for the dark ones, decided to do a little detour and probably loot a little bit. And I mean, this game is all about rushing the objective, really. And they didn't quite do that. I just They just stopped to loot and it's very risky. But Kelly went ahead and the other ones stay behind. 
Oh, and the best thing is to possess a Henry with the puppeteer. Oh my god! It's so close to going down. Right, here we go. And Kelly hasn't started the Dark Ones yet. And she was alone. I mean, this is just bad play, really. She could have started the Dark Ones all the way back there. But she just went out to loot. So that, that probably cost them the game. Uh, he went down now. But he is in, um, vulnerable now and I just managed to grab him. So by the time he started the revive again, the power was gone and he couldn't revive him anymore. <laughs> I'm like, you're not pulling, you're not getting him up. <sighs> oh, you won't. <laughs> and that was that. You see, Kelly hasn't started the Dark Ones yet. What the hell was she doing? Oh, now she's coming back. Look at her in the map. Uh, I'm really low on health here. So I'm gonna go and try and stop him reviving. And Kelly's just coming back. What's she doing? I think she's gonna go to the Dark Ones now. Oh, missed. Here we. Oh god. <laughs> I just couldn't get it done. Oh. oh, and I actually grabbed the wrong one. I had no energy to possess any of them. Here, here we go. I wouldn't wanted to have gone for the Henry, but this worked all right, just about. I think if I had taken the Henry there, I would have done it better. But that was probably my bad. Now right, here, Kelly's alone. She started the Dark Ones eventually, but really not good enough. And <laughs> that was quite good. I don't know how I had that range. I think. I was even wondering, is there another unit there attacking him? So, Sash is being resurrected right now. But Henry is almost dead. So I don't know what happened there. Are they stuck in there? Alright, he is down. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened to the Henry there, and now he's dead, Henry. I'm not sure what happened there, but it was the AI who took him down, which probably tells something about Henry. He probably wasn't all that good. And now Kelly, you know, was supposed to be a master dodge, unable to dodge, took quite a beating there. Yeah, now she's on her own. She's she's toast really. Just gonna try and go for the revive. And now with the boss, it's really mm, there's not much more she can do here. I don't think so. Man, that was it. AOE. Boom! And there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. This was the best defense that humanity could offer. How pitiful! Our victory was...